my friend, would you rather eat 100 spoonfuls of, you guessed it, sour cream? Speaking of sour cream. The bane of my existence. Or eat a, a hundred spoonfuls. Who eats? Like, I know people who eat spoonfuls of sour cream, but I've never known anyone to eat a spoonful of mustard. I love <laughs> mustard. I, I'll do it. I love okay. mustard. And I, I can answer this for Alan, too, because okay. Alan does not like anything uh, creamy that's white. He doesn't like mayo. Mm. He doesn't like... Um, Marshmallow fluff? He doesn't like fluff. He doesn't like sour cream. He, yeah, he's not into... He's very... He's he's, he's a weird dude, right? He's weird. <laughs> um, well, he's but, not here, uh, so we can say yeah. that. <laughs> um, but I love mustard. I could just... I mean, I could just take mustard, just mustard. pour it right down my mouth. It's so good. Yeah. Um, Do you have any Grey Poupon? That's mustard, right? <laughs> I'm not a. Yes. It, well, it's like a very fancy Dijon mustard. Yeah. But okay. I'm just talking like French's yellow mustard. Just give me that. Oh, just yeah. straight up yellow mustard. Okay. All yeah. you. I think you yeah. have to make my uh, Senfa Aina, which is a very, very German dish that is made with basically you make a roux out of mustard. And then, <laughs> oh no, I swear to God. Yeah. And, and then you poach eggs in it. Oh, that's yeah. That's some German Let's do shit. this. Oh, the yeah. most German thing, and it's so oh. good. Yeah. What is it called though? What is it called? Senfa Aina. Senfa Aina. Gesundheit. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> My husband thinks it's delicious. He's a huge mustard guy. Okay. I'm in. Must what about I'm mustard in. and corn dogs? That's like my, that's what they naturally go with for me. And oh, ham. Alex. I like ham and mustard and with the ham. No. I make a really good mustard <laughs> sauce for ham for Christmas. One that's thing I what actually I'm talking about. I, I actually um I used to do a lot was when I was up late at night gaming, playing Red Dead Redemption. I would get a bag of pretzels and a big bowl of mustard. And just dip the pretzels, yeah, pretzels in there. Pretzels for sure and mustard for sure. My son's oh, yeah. into that. He's into yeah. that too. Okay, cool. My and then I had to explain all the yellow stains all over everything. <laughs> I don't my think has this like go to snack of tortillas and mustard. Yeah, I could I'm try not going to judge. I'm not going to judge. I've never had it. I've never had it. Maybe it's delicious. It's like pistachios and bananas. You ever had that? No. Yeah, yeah, that I sounds know. good. Mm, but uh, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever had mustard. That is definitely a lie. What? You ever I, had a hot dog? I don't put mustard. I've never <laughs> had mustard. Ask dude if he's ever seen me eat mustard. I don't go near it. I don't like Try it. Try it on something though. Yeah. A put it on tart. something. Don't just <laughs> don't just tart. take a spoonful of it. Not a pop tart. Not a fun fetty pop tart. A Absolutely big, not. Fluffy pretzel with salt goes great yeah. with a cheese sauce <laughs> or a mustard. <laughs> 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 Just put a drop on your finger. Awesome. Like little... Here we go. You gotta shake it awesome. first so you don't get just water. Yeah, yeah, you gotta shake it oh. so you don't want to. Yeah, it's like ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. I can shake it, shake it. Yeah. All right, one hundred. Ew, Thank it's like Danik. ew. Okay. See the water. <laughs> Here we go. Like I can't get any. Out Not of too here. much now. <laughs> just a dollar. Just to like a, we're talking like a like a the top of attack. Tangy. Right? <laughs> 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 It's the white people's wasabi. Here it is. Yeah. Episode 100, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it here and I'm covered in it. It's squirted out all over me. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. What, what brand was that? Just so we know. Was that the. Uh... I think it was French's. No, was it's it? just yellow mustard from Target. Ew. Oh, oh it's that's generic why. mustard. Yeah. Too. Yeah, Dude, you I need do... a napkin. <laughs> Can't do target right. mustard. Okay, well, let's go to the next one. Danica. Ew, ew, ew. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Would you rather, oh, Jesus, listen to Tub Thumper 100 times over the course of 2022 or listen to Gangnam Style 100 times over the course of 2022? Oh, my God. I've heard both of these songs a million times already. <laughs> so I, I, I used to bartend, speaking of Traverse City, I bartended at this bar called the UNI Lounge. And... I had a guy that would work there that liked to play DJ and he would play that song all the freaking time, constantly. So Gangnam Style, eh, I'm probably going to have to go with Gangnam Style. I just haven't heard it as much as Tub Thumper. I don't, I, I can't, yeah, I can't do it. You drink some whiskey drink? You drink some lager drink? Uh, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. It smells so much like mustard in here. This is my demise. Like I wish I could even tell you how much it is permeating this room. <laughs> it's 
mustard <laughs> man, mustard man. Raycon <laughs> is the mustard man. I hate it. Oh my God. All right, go to the next one. Okay, would you okay I'll take it for you. I got it, I got it. Okay. Would you rather own a collection of 100 guitars and drums or own 100 pieces of original Beatles lyric sheets? Oh, man. So it doesn't say bass. It just says guitar mm. or drums. Now, if it was basses, yeah, I'd be into that, but... I don't need drums and guitars. Um, I like the Beatles lyric sheets, honestly. Beatles I think I would sheet. go with that. D did you watch any of the documentary? I haven't yet. No, I have not. And I've heard nothing but amazing things. I've heard it's just incredible. Um, I just haven't had a chance yet, but I plan to soon, for sure. Some of the technology they used is super state of the art to clean up all that old that mm -hmm. old film and everything the colors people where i saw an interview with peter jackson when he was like people are asking me how'd you get the colors to be so vivid he's like they were already there we just kind of had to bring it out of the uh the film so super wow. cool how do yeah. i clean up this mustard because <laughs> there's a super high tech no it's milk. No. It's just, uh, milk yeah. and the stains will never go away uh, it's all mustard stains are, are bad yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. all right Please danica mustard. go ahead all right would you rather ah yes run a hundred meter down <laughs> like the picture or swim a hundred laps in toe shoes we had to Shut throw up to yep oh man i'm gonna go with swim yeah. um, because you can at least hide the toe shoes underwater right <laughs> it's harder for people to see that you're actually in the toe shoes when you're swimming Someone was saying you have to build like a tolerance to the shoes too. Like you have to wear them for a while so that your feet get used to, cause it's like basically your feet think that you're going barefoot and running barefoot is actually terrible for your feet uh, in terms yeah. of like osteoporosis. Or Just long enough to lose all your friends. <laughs> no Pretty much, to hang right? out with you. Yep. What about toes now? Toe socks though, not shoes. Toe socks. I, th cozy? I actually, I had some toe socks. I think I wore yeah. them once. Oh, didn't okay. we? <laughs> oh yeah. I think it was weird. Yeah, I think okay. it was weird. And I just moved on. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure. Well, we're moving on to the next one. Would now I kind of want to do it again, though. I'm, it, I do. Let's bring it back. Let's Woman bring it back. Toes. I'm okay. <gasps> Icarus Bell Toe Socks merch. Ooh. That's actually. Yo. Comes with a free packet of mustard. <laughs> well, lost me there. That's great. Love it. Acre smell mustard. Oh my god, we're just gonna brand so many things. All right, here's the next one. Would you rather? <clears throat> oh, travel with a hundred jackets on tour or travel with a hundred designer hats on tour? Oh my god, you're asking the right person. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of jackets and I have a lot of hats. I'm gonna go with jackets though. I mean, I, I love hats. I'm not much. I'm not a big like designer hat person though like i have like one no i have a couple nice uh like goran brothers hats that i like but for the most part i just kind of just wear these until i get tired of them and then i just switch to another one now jackets though i'm a sucker for a great jacket and i yeah, love I leather love jackets. jackets yeah yeah uh i'm gonna go with jackets <laughs> that's tough though that's a tough one yeah i feel like maybe slightly easier to travel with jackets i don't know it's a tough it's a tough one yeah hats are they get they get crushed they get messed yeah. up yeah. you need like you know? a hat rack and all sorts yeah. of stuff for hats and if you travel in a suitcase you got to get like the hat the, the thing great yeah. you know the thing yeah. right that yeah you protect the, the thing. hats yeah. fair enough all right all right russian dub master next one's on you <laughs> would you rather uh write song with 100 line or write song with less than 100 work <laughs> oh man uh I'm going to go with the second option. Um, writing a song with a hundred lines. That sounds terrible. Yeah. <laughs> that just sounds like opera. such a pain in the ass to me. <laughs> I don't know if, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the second, the second option. I think it'd actually be really fun to try to write a song that's meaningful with very, like very short. You know what I mean? Like not a lot of lyrics. I think that would actually be a challenge and it'd be pretty cool. Well, we issue that challenge. I'll work on it. All right. I'll be about 100. Though. 100 might be tough, but I'll I'll see what I can do. All right. All right. Excellent, Miss Danica's. All right. Oh, would you rather spend a day babysitting 100 puppies or spend a day babysitting 100 kittens? I, so many people are going to give me a hard time about this, but I'm going to go with kittens. And I, I, I'm going to go with kittens because puppies are really cute, but they just, they're really high maintenance and i feel like they're just gonna crap everywhere right 
It's true. like kittens are, uh, they're equally as cute. I mean, in my opinion, they're equally as cute and they're just way less work. That is true. That is categorically correct. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, is that you? I don't know. Did you guys hear that? There must be a frog in my throat. So. A frog? Yeah. All right, we got two more. That's great. All right. So would you rather travel 100 years into the past or travel 100 years into the future? Ooh. In the year three. These are yeah. These are the best questions ever. Say, <laughs> I'm actually going to say into the past. I would like because you know with what the knowledge you have, right? Yeah, with the knowledge you have, like I I love uh um Back to the Future too, like where he he takes the the sports almanac, you know, and he's like, <laughs> I want to bet on the cubbies. I, like, I want to yeah. do that. Um, I, I plus I feel like you know what to expect, you know, and it's like. I don't know. Going to the future would be cool, but it'd also just be like, what is all this? This is frightening. What the hell is that? You know, going into the past, like, I feel like you at least like you, you have something to gauge, like, you know, you know, kind of what to expect. And I think it'd be awesome. Just, just keep in mind that a uh, hundred years from now would put you back in the Spanish flu. <laughs> oh, well, well <laughs> then maybe I'm going to change my answer. So <laughs> way to go, Danica. <laughs> World yeah. War one, the usual. <laughs> yeah. But good music. Good music. Yeah. The coolest yeah, thing yeah, is yeah. if you went 100 years in the past, you just picked up a guitar and you're like, take this out. Yeah. And they're like, what are you doing? Satan yeah. is here. Is is the devil is in his hands. He's a like, demon. He's I a demon. It. Yeah. I love it. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> All right, Josh. Technology in the future, though, man. I don't, that's it. 100 years in the future. That's scary. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Agreed. All right, Josh, you got the last one. Okay. Now, would you rather, my friend, Fight off a hundred zombies, uh, aka Walking Dead, or fight off a hundred possessed dolls, aka Annabelle. Maybe Chucky's uh, in there too. Chucky's considered a possessed doll too. I love both options, honestly. Uh, but I'm gonna go with zombies just because I'm such a massive uh, Walking Dead fan. Possessed dolls, I'm not gonna lie, like that kind of that it's cool, but that creeps the hell out of me. It really does. Possession just... seems more difficult to deal with on a paranormal exterminator level. Like zombie, straight knife to the head, cut it off. Possessed is all you're like, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah. How do you do it? Shadow people, you know? I don't know what's going on. So. But here, but here, here's a here's a thing. So, are we talking 28 days later zombies? Or are we talking mm. Walking Dead zombies? Because if they're Walking Dead zombies, I'm definitely going with zombies. If they're the fast ones, or are mm. they Shaun of the oh, Dead right. zombies? Oh yeah, yeah. There you go, right. <laughs> It's Walking yeah. Dead. It's Walking Dead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the zombies then. Okay. For sure. <laughs>